Hey neighbor, welcome back. In this video, I check out the results of using iron as a weed killer for the lawn. If you missed that past video, you should go check it out. Then I go and fix a problem with grubs in the lawn. So stick around. All right, so the iron weed killer actually worked. This is a patch of clover that I sprayed. You can see that the weeds turn a darker color. Here it's better to see on the driveway. They got all nice and crispy and dyed and it actually worked. Here's an example of what the iron did to a larger weed with a larger leaf blade. And again, I'm impressed. All right, while I was out in the lawn, I noticed an area that was dead and matted down. So I decided to poke around and investigate and see what was going on. I noticed that the grass could easily be pulled up like a piece of carpet. And this was very concerning to me, so I needed to do some further investigating and figure out just what was going on. Because I think grubs or insects might be a problem, I decided to do what's called a drench test. Now, typically you'll use a larger bucket for this, but for um, all intents and purposes, I'm just showing you guys a little cup here. Fill it up with some soap, make sure that the water gets all nice and sudsy. And then what you do is you just dump it over an area of the lawn where the grass is still green, but next to the area where there's damage. And hopefully you'll find some grubs or some insects to pop out and show themselves so you know what's going on. And it turns out I have cutworms. These are moth larvae that like to feed on the lawn. So I decided to take a rake and pull up any loose areas of the lawn, exposing the soil. Grabbed a bag of insect and grub killer and put it down on the lawn. I decided to use Scott's Easy Seed to quickly fill in the area before the first frost. Everything was watered in, and the job is done. Hey, be sure to check out this video right here if you missed it on using iron as a weed killer. Thanks for watching.